If you've been trying to break 19 minutes on your 5K, this is the video for you. I'm gonna set stroke rate, I'm gonna row with you, and I'm gonna give you the pacing so that if you stick with me and hit your splits, you are going to break 19 minutes on your 5K, let's get into it. Breaking 19 minutes on a 5K is a big hurdle. In the past, we've done the 21 minute and the 20 minute 5K. I'll probably link to both of those right about now. But with that being said, it's time for us to tackle the 19 minute. And if you've hit 20 and you're gunning for 19, this is a big one. The split is 154. It is a big one to overcome. I'm so excited to be setting this pace for you guys. And I'm really excited for you to join me. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Shane Farmer. This is Dark Horse, where you build the life that you want to live and we just happen to use rowing to help you get there. So the rules of engagement are simple with this workout today. I'm going to try and set my stroke rate between 24 to 26. We'll see where I settle in. The split needs to be 154 or faster. I'm gonna try and sit right on a 154 so that I get there exactly at 19 minutes. If you nudge ahead of me, that's fantastic. That's what I'm hoping you'll do is that you'll push ahead. Some guidelines and advisements for the 5K. Do not come out too hot so that you're just holding on for dear life at the end. You'd rather come out nice and controlled and in the second half start to put on the heat where you start to push below that 154 split and just keep your eyes on the average split time. That's gonna tell you whether or not you're going to get your 19 minute 5K. You can also look at your predicted time or the predicted time to finish and that will as well tell you if you're on track to beat it. So just house cleaning notes for this. Number one, I've warmed up already so make sure you are warmed up and you've spent a little bit of time at the pace that you want to hit today. Spend at least a minute on that pace so that you can feel it and you're comfortable going into it. Next, make sure you have your drag factor set to where you are comfortable. Mine is at a 122 right now, but don't worry about what mine is. Set it to what makes you most comfortable, where you row best. And then with that being said, as we go through, stick with me on stroke rate so that all you have to worry about is putting enough force into each stroke that you can get the split that you need. Other things to think about ahead of time, do you want some kind of sweat management? I'm probably gonna regret not wearing a hat, but you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. You may wanna have some sweat control in the form of sweat bands on your wrists. If you tend to get pretty sweaty or in your hot environment, hot, humid, it'll help that sweat from rolling down and onto your hands, which is just gonna keep you more comfortable. If you want music, have that playing in the back background will obviously have some music to this but if you want your own cool play it next make sure that you have some hydration ready to go not that I'm gonna say we should stop and drink in the middle of the workout but get some beforehand and have it ready afterwards in case you need it and with that being said we're just gonna set a 5k onto our monitors and we're gonna do this thing okay from the main menu on a concept two. now of course you can do this on any machine that's totally up to you but I've got a concept too so we're gonna talk through the monitor here from the main menu go to select workout that's the B button then standard list, that's the A button. And from there, you're gonna see 5,000 meters on the screen and it's the B button, so we'll hit that B. 5,000 meters is on the screen. Get warm, get ready, strap in. We're gonna kick off here in just a moment. Also, if you're wondering what I have going on with all my colors on the machine here, because I kind of keep getting this question in the comments, the phone mount and the matching seat cover from Vapor Fitness. You'll find those linked in the description below, as well as the seat pad, which is gonna be from Hornet Water Sports, which I've been testing out lately, and I'm kind of getting fond of. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but I'm liking it for now, I'm testing it out. So if you like a seat pad, it's a really nice gel seat pad. This is the XL. Go and find that in the description is below. The Hornet Water Sports seat pad, the Vapor Fitness seat cover, and the phone mount, that's what all those things are. So with that being said, let's get into the workout. Strap in. Tighten those straps down. I'm gonna get my watch queued up. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go.
getting into it now. And there's the 4,000 meter mark. I'm at a 153.7 right now. Just trying to kind of hover, keep it comfortable.
the 3,000 meter mark. If I'm slightly ahead, it's because I'm at a 153.8. Don't worry too hard right now. Just row your own piece. Okay, that's halfway. If you're gonna start pushing the throttle, do it by one second on the split now. Make a small move and do it through pressure, pushing that machine away. Incremental changes, not big ones. It'll play out in the split through those tenths of seconds. Just chipping away at tenths of seconds. Two thousand meters to go. I'm now to 153.9, bringing it closer to that 154.0. That's my target. And again, you should be trying to beat me.
There's my 1,000 left. This is your final round. Turn it up, push way ahead of me. Go now, don't wait for the final 300. Make your move now. This is where you need to make it hurt. Work through that finish line. I'm gonna sit at my 154. I will be your guide. You make the move. Go stroke right up if you need to. Pressure up through the legs. Keep breathing. left take it up again go right up go pressure up push come on don't lose it now push through me beat me to that finish line
300 to go. Empty the tank. Let's go now. Keep on spinning. Just some light rowing here. My average, 154.0. Total time, 1859.7. Sorry about that point three, guys. So, keep moving to cool down. Don't just stop. Obviously grab some water if you need, but come back to the movement here. Give yourselves at least, give yourself at least five minutes of cool down time of just light, easy rowing, focusing on mechanics. Don't just fall apart and get sloppy. Sit tall, sit proud. Find a good order of operations. And I'm just gonna debrief you as we go. So, things to pay attention to. I tried to push you a little bit when the time got challenging in the moments where the brain wants to step back and say, ooh, I don't know if I can sustain this, but you can. You absolutely can sustain it and it absolutely helps to have me to go along with you. The ability to follow along is undoubtedly one of the best ways to get through workouts. And you probably experienced that if you just broke that 154 split, and if you did, good job. Super proud of you, and you should be super proud of yourself for having done that. Way to tackle it. Up next is that 18 minutes, which is not an easy mark either. Lots of change has to happen for you to make these big one minute jumps in your 5K or in a 2K, it starts coming down to tenths of seconds. If you're new, if you haven't figured out the mechanics yet, if you're still struggling with that, step way back to the mechanics. And while your splits may drop for a little bit, it's a guarantee that when you come back, you're gonna be 10X stronger because your mechanics will put you into the right place to put more force in. All that force and power you know you have, you're gonna be able to apply that. So I hope you enjoyed this 5K. God, if you got it done, seriously, just another round of applause. And from, from me, from Dark Horse, from everybody here. If you got it, post it in the comments below. Tell us that you got and broke that 154 or that 19 minute 5K so that everybody else can cheer you on. If you enjoyed following me along on that 5K, hit that subscribe button so that you get alerted when I come out with new videos. And if you wanna to start to understand the why and the how behind how you get faster and how you can get that 19 minute 5K, Consider joining the crew linked in the description below, which is our guided program online where you can get coached, you've got programs to follow, and you're gonna get a training plan to help you progress.